it. What happened? I left. You had just contacted our agent. We whipped her into shape pretty good on the air yesterday. Yes. We kind of made it clear to her that she might as well get some bucks out of this you thing. need representation. The only thing I can figure out is that because we have such like a nudnik reputation... She doesn't take us seriously. Yeah, and she doesn't realize, like, you know, we're doing pretty good in show business. And we know what we're talking about. Yeah. Like, we weren't jerking her around when we said, hey, don't give Donahue this story. Evident... Look, evidently... What I wanted to do was tell Donahue to go screw himself. First of all, I think because of what we did on the air yesterday, Donahue behaved himself. Uh, oh, without a doubt. Yes. I've never seen Donahue you act see, like that. I mean, and, and even bringing up the same point yeah. that we brought up on the air. Yeah. And handling it just as I said, with that sympathy, that pseudo sympathy in his voice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we helped her. There's no doubt about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Because if Donahue had stepped out of line, that would have been it. She would have walked off. And you can tell us that beforehand they set up guidelines yes. this time. Yes, I promised you that I wouldn't talk about such and such and so on. And then he talked about it and made her cry. Yes. That's when I thought she'd get up and walk out. Because well, the, you she, know, she handled herself really well. Yes and no. Yes and no? Well, let me tell you my observations. Uh -huh. But let me tell you what happened, okay? So, on the show, I said to Jessica Hahn, look... If you want my advice, you should get an agent. She keeps screaming about Barry Slotnick. Barry Slotnick's not going to do her any good. He's you a criminal Barry lawyer. Slotnick? Yeah, oh, that's all she keeps screaming for. She wants Mr. Slotnick. Well, Mr. Slotnick is busy. <laughs> yeah, and Mr. Slotnick is going to charge you a fortune. And he's not into show business. I mean, you could make a claim that he is, but he's really yeah, not... But a... he's his own actor. He's he, not exactly. looking to represent any. He's doing his own promotion. <laughs> what you need is a serious show business agent and lawyer. Yeah. So, Jessica Hahn tells me she's got all of these offers for her to tell her story sitting on her kitchen table. Yeah, contracts even. Millions of dollars worth of contracts. Literally. And I know she doesn't want to make any money off the thing. She's made that clear. But, hey, don't be foolish. You've been raped. And what happened on the Donahue show yesterday? Some big fat jackass stands up and goes, Hey, man, you didn't seem to feel too guilty when you cashed in that money, those checks. Hey, man, that big fat jackass has never been raped. How does right. he know what it feels and like? he doesn't understand how, what, how humiliating it is, especially for a young girl who's yeah. like um, a churchgoer. She didn't even tell her parents. Yeah, well, it was pretty clear she was embarrassed by the whole thing, and she wasn't, one of the, she wasn't a hooker like the media painted her to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, I'm buying the story, all right? So I'm saying, let Jessica Hahn make some dollars off it. Jessica Hahn's agreeing with me. And um, I go, after the show, I go back to my office to call Jessica Hahn. She has the phone off the hook. Yeah. Because I called my agent, and my agent really doesn't take on a lot of clients. He, like, rejects some of them, you know what I mean? And I called my agent, I discussed it with him. He says, yeah, for sure we can do something with her. You know, at least she can get some advice. Yeah. He's willing to give her advice. And he's a real honest guy. He's a real reputable guy in the industry. I mean, a lot of people respect him. Mm -hmm. He hasn't screwed too many people over. Not enough for people to talk. Right. So when I was recommending him to Jessica Hahn, I, you know, I just felt at least talk to him, right, before you go on Donovan. So, I can't get through to Jessica Hahn yesterday. So, what do we do? Jackie came up with a good idea. But first, we were calling cab companies to get in touch with them to mm -hmm. put a phone on the hook. This is a brilliant idea, by the way, if you ever need to get a message to someone. Uh -huh. Did you hear about this? No, I was leaving as Jackie was on the phone, so I didn't know what he was doing. By 11.30 or 11 o'clock, Jackie goes, I got it. Let's send her flowers. And we'll send her a card and deliver the message. Absolutely. And how long does that take? Well, when I called up, I told him who I was. I said, Here, is fit, just, I tell you what, here's 50 bucks. Don't even bother sending the flowers. Just, just send the card. Message. And uh, it got there within 20 minutes. Great. That's a good idea. It was a real good idea. Finally, Jackie, we have a reason for keeping you. Well, I'm still mad I had to spend $50. <laughs> Why was I spending $50 to help Jessica Hahn is what I wanted to know. <laughs> what is it, Gary? And we were dialing all over the place. I know. Those phones, it looked like yeah. a, a telethon in there. Yeah, it was nuts. Everybody, uh, Dave was on one phone, you were on one phone, Jackie was on his knees on You know how phone. cool it would have been if Jessica turned down Donahue because of us? Oh, it would have been crazy. It would have been just nuts. Donahue would have gone through the roof. Well, quite frankly, we said off the air, we were talking to each other, and we said, I know this is driving those people nuts. Oh, yeah. That we're in contact with her, and yeah. we may have some influence on what she does today. And Donahue is a big load. I mean, this guy... He didn't even send like a, you know, he sends a car and picks her up at noon for a four o'clock taping. Mm. I mean, you know, you don't do that well, to a person. This is the thing. She's letting these people push her around. Yeah. My, my, so I called my agent and he was like, I can't believe that this girl's going on Donahue. And I can't believe, because you know what Donahue would have paid to have her on? Mm -hmm. Instead, Donahue just got a ton of ratings. What is it, Dave? 
Jessica just called and she'd like you to call her. Oh, right okay. Now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to find out what happened. Yeah, I mean, I had the whole thing orchestrated so beautifully, and I busted my ass on this. All right, I... you, so you sent the flowers, the message. You know what? The only thing I can figure out, and I, well, I'll give you the whole story, but the only thing I can figure out why Jessica didn't take my advice is because in the back of my mind, she's saying, wait a second, this guy's like a real goofy guy. No, I have another theory. Yeah. She wants I to be on Donahue. Theory. No, not that she wants to be on Donahue. That she doesn't trust anyone. Yeah. She doesn't know this media, this industry. All these people are calling her. Everybody well, yeah. seems to want a piece of the pie. That's what I thought. She's and probably she saying, trust anybody. you know, what's this guy's motivation? Yeah. And I don't blame her. She's a woman that's been through a lot. What's this guy's motivation? I swear to God, I had no other motivation than, number one, making sure Donahue didn't get away with murder. Mm -hmm. And number two... Protecting she her interests. she deserved. Because I felt bad that she was a rape victim. One of my so agents said to me, and one, the one who's a lawyer, mm -hmm. said to me, the first thing he says, look, get in touch with her. Tell her to call me immediately because one of the things she should not do is Donahue until... Everybody who wants to speak with her. Not even from a, he said, not even from a financial standpoint. Just yeah, let's, who, is who would be the best for him? Yeah. And I saw Jessica and Donahue trying to explain that to the people in the audience, but they're such mutants that they don't understand what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Jessica, you better tell your story. You're no good. It's like, hey, man, yeah. screw off. But, okay, but let's not get into that. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Okay, yeah. yeah. Turn yourself up to that Donahue audience. Everything I said was going to happen, happened. When Donahue goes, I know I've agreed not to mention what happened in that room. And then he read the whole damn thing. Here's the transcript. That's when I expected you to walk out. I didn't I didn't know he was going to read that. In fact, I would have, you know, I mean, he said he'd go through it. I didn't think he'd go through it. The man's a jerk. And, and notice he didn't break stride for a second while he had a cry. And he was going, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Here we go, man. Here's the money shot. Here's the money shot, man. Let's go for it. And the director was right in there. Hey, my kudos to the director, by the way. <laughs> right in on shot. Jessica's face. I mean, I, I was like, oh, cut the camera, too. Cut the camera, too. I'm calling the shots from my, from my living room. I'm like, cut the camera, too, damn it. <laughs> because he, he stayed a little too long on Donahue, for my taste. Mm. But anyway, because believe me, Jessica, I knew what was going to go on there. So anyway, I call my agent. The first thing he says to me is, just get in touch with her. Tell her, what, just to make a phone call, let's talk about whether or not she should just do Donahue. Right. Because I was thinking that maybe Jessica didn't want to call my agents because maybe she thinks, you know, they're not high-powered enough. But these are real high-powered guys. No, well, I believe it. Okay. So anyway, and they were making sense to me on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me have her call you. I don't think uh, she wants to be giving out her home phone number. Why don't you just, you know, and that's kind of ridiculous. And they're not the kind of agents that go, are ambulance chasers, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I figured you call them at your own discretion. So, then what happened is... Um, You're trying we, to call we're Jessica, trying to call Jessica back. Her phone's off the hook. The phone was off for about five minutes because I had to take a quick... I couldn't get in the shower. The phone kept going and I was late. Really? Yeah, and then I put it right back on and that's when Gary called. Oh, really? Because we were like trying to get you for like a half hour. Uh, well, then one, then calls kept coming in one after another, but I just jumped in and jumped out. I mean, I, I was like running really late. Yeah. So anyway, listen, so, so this is what happened, okay? So then I said to... Um, we, we had this whole big thing trying to get... We didn't have Jessica's address, so I said, let's send her a message or a telegram. We were calling cab companies to go over to her house to tell her to put the phone on the hook. So we didn't know her address. So I call up the, uh, the guys at the post, who must have her address because they're of always camped out. Yeah. So I said, how about giving me uh, Jessica's address? They go, yeah, give us Lynn Armand's phone number. Oh, oh boy. boy. So I said, hmm. I'll give you my address after. Not no, that it, you'll want it anymore. No, we got it because we delivered flowers. Oh, okay. that, that was when I came up, when Jackie came up with the idea for the flowers. I love them, by the way. They're great. Oh, they did include the roses? Yes, yeah, roses. A dozen roses and carnations. Oh. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Thanks. I cried. <laughs> hey, I wasn't coming on to you. It was just that I, this is the only way I, I could get a message her. to you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, and then I thought about it later. I said, maybe she got the flowers and thought I was like, that, that's yeah. what I want. There were white carnations. Oh, okay. That's pretty. Yeah, well, they were. We I mean, have a program for you. I'm to call Jessica and explain to her what's going on because she just might think, you know, uh, who are these guys yeah. that I'm putting her in touch with? So I call her up and I said, Jessica, look, do me one favor. Call these guys. Just listen to what they have to say. They'll set up an appointment with you today. If you don't have to do anything, you're not signing anything. Go right, talk, to talk to them to because you need advice. And my agent was screaming, "This girl needs advice bad." That's the one thing. I mean, no one's even going to Donahue with her. So I said, look, Jessica's not into making money off it. She doesn't want to get the impression she's making money off of it. So that's why she's afraid to take money for all this stuff. But meanwhile, she's getting screwed out of all this PTL money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my agent said, definitely have a call. So I get Jessica on the phone, on the car phone, finally. And I said, listen, just don't go to Donahue. She goes, I'm going to call your agent right now. 
And and when that happened, the people from the uh, another uh, television station were at my door. I didn't sit there and make her cry. To go after Donahue. Yeah, you were using... I am not. I'm using... Yeah, you are. If it wasn't Donahue, I'd use her against Oprah. She shouldn't be getting used by those people. She no, should get she paid. Shouldn't. But you're, you know, you're sitting there going, <clears throat> getting after Donahue. The whole deal that's is not to be used to her to go after Donahue. That's a byproduct. Donahue is just as bad as everyone else. Yeah, I'll go with that. So then what is your problem? Why shouldn't <laughs> I go after Donahue? Donahue just totally raped that girl yesterday, I figuratively. I didn't get to watch it. I had to be at work. Well, then why comment on things that you don't know what you're talking about? You know, imbeciles like you, know nothings, who stick their nose into half a story, don't know what they're doing. How dare you? I'm doing something nice for this girl. You just keep hey. your mouth shut. Hey. You I'm what? being nice to you. I'm not cussing. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm sick of you. you. Don't call me an imbecile. You are an imbecile. No, I'm not. Then what is your beef with me? How dare you say I victimize this girl? Whenever I do something nice, people say I victimize somebody. No, it's just the way that you're doing now, it. What did I you do for her? What are you going to do for her? What are you going to do? Hook her up with your agent? I don't have an agent. I don't have an agent to hook her up with. You got I a problem? She doesn't seem to be victimized by me. I haven't talked to her about her story. I haven't tried to get it out of her for free. I don't want to hear her story. I know that she's been hurt. I think she needs to be quiet. Sit there and listen to the radio. Don't call up so much. I don't say you're going to be funny if you're not. (laughs) (laughs) And don't put on a southern accent and then all of a sudden make it disappear. I hate you. (laughs) I don't like you. No, I don't like you. I don't like waking up to your voice. Oh. Hey, don't think you're getting off easy here, sweetheart. Hey, you got some nerve telling me that I victimized Jessica Hyde. You have no, you have no, um, you have no right to say that. I, you know, it's a free country. You've got a right to say over here. And i got a right to my you opinion. You have nothing to support You have nothing opinion. to support it. Well, how did I victimize her? Because I had her on the air? No, not by having her on the air. It was just by, I kept thinking, why doesn't he let her off the phone, let her get in touch with his, his agent? Because she doesn't do it. She needs advice. She She's confused. Her into it. She yeah, is not but, show you know, business savvy. Yeah. Why, can't she you is... her, you know, why can't you give her advice off the air? I'm much too busy off the air. I have uh, appointments. To this is where we live, lady. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I, am, I kept sitting there going, yeah, Donahue's ratings went up yesterday, but yours had to go up yesterday morning and this morning. My ratings are already through the roof. I don't need Jessica on to get ratings. <laughs> I mentioned, well, uh, I the say the word pork twice, I got a six share. <laughs> okay? I don't need a, a Jessica. I don't have to live off of Jessica Hahn like Donahue does. He's dying, that guy. All right? My personal opinion, dear heart. Your personal opinion stinks on ice like you do. <laughs> you and your smelly body and your mind. You smell, you smell, you well, reek from, you reek from here. simpleton. And that's why the deep south should be, should be canceled from this country. <laughs> Hey, well, if we were canceled, what would you guys have to complain about? Hey, I always wanted to ask someone from the South this. Oh, um, God, what? When you go to the beach, uh-huh. you know the webbing between your toes? Does that get sunburned? <laughs> does that just make you better sleep? Just like your webbing does. Yeah, okay, honey. Okay. You proved yourself. <laughs> you proved that you don't know a thing about show business, and you should keep your mouth shut. Hey, you know... I don't talk about accounting to you, or whatever it is you do. You know, that, that is your loss. You jumped to a hasty conclusion. Why don't you I just admit it? Admit it, it yeah, for once. Know. Let me hear you do your gazintas if you're an accountant. <laughs> Can you imagine having an accountant from the deep south? Uh, two gazinta two. Hold on a second. I'll get that answer for you in a minute. Two oh. gazinta two twice. Two, I mean, once two gazinta two. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me take my shoes off so I can use my toes to count. That's right. That's right. And don't tilt your head. The thick and gravy will spill out. Oh, wonderful. You and Elvis. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what. You guys are all so cute. Um, I don't know why I'm giving her the time of day. Uh, Thank you. Shadow traffic on 92.3 K Rock. All right, nice job, uh, okay. no one Glad it turned out well for you. By the way, congratulations on this, this Jessica Hahn thing. I think that this is really. Um, oh, don't congratulate. I think that's the wrong the word. Self-serving. We're not doing it for a self-serving I purpose. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that word, but I, it's very interesting.